Good afternoon YouTube. So another video from the trail. Two weeks ago I went up this side here up to where the old forest road was washed out and then I checked out the waterfalls that are on this little creek here. So this time I thought I would go up the other road here. So this is the road that goes up the Actually, it's like the north side of the hill. So you've got the hill with the geocaches right up here. And then you've got a stream on that side and there's a stream over there. So what I wanted to do was head up this road. I went up here just before Halloween and I wanted to drop down that little side trail down into the stream canyon and see if there's any waterfall activity down there. I saw two weeks ago that there was water coming out the bottom there where the, that little creek crosses the trail. So I figured I might go up there. There's a couple of promising spots on the hillshade map. I'm just not sure if I can get close enough to them to see what's going on. But yeah, the trail maintenance on this trail leaves a little bit to be desired. A lot of fallen trees here. You just gotta plow your way through up there. I don't know how long this has been abandoned. But yeah, it's just covered with down trees. Actually, they're breaking down a little bit. When I came down here a little over a year ago, it was really brushy. Yeah, so once you get through all those uh, down trees, the trail or road opens up and it's in pretty decent shape. I think these trees were down when I came up here in October, but this is the little trail turn off right here. So I'm going to see if I can kind of side hill around here and get down close to the creek and see what it looks like. Okay, I made it farther than I did last spring. I think I stopped over there someplace with the moisture in the ground. It's a little bit softer and there's a little better footing. So I was able to make it over here, a bunch of down trees over and under and I had to break off a whole bunch of branches to get through there. Looks like the trail or road continued over here. I could see this last time and then I'm not sure what happened here because there's there's the creek down there on the hillshade map just at the end of this road that you can see on the hillshade map. Probably just around that corner looks like a pretty good drop and there's also one down below here. I could hear it when I came through the brush over there Boy, it's a lot of down trees. It's really tough going. And I could hear a waterfall down there, but there's no way. You can just see how steep that is. Actually, most of the road over there has slid away and you can see right here how it's breaking off. And that's probably what happened up here. So I'm not sure where this road went. There's a trail or road up here on the other side that I can see traces of. It kind of goes along probably about there and goes all the way up here to Charcoal Road. So that's another one I need to uh, explore. So I don't know if this road ended here. You can see how there was a bunch of earth moved up in here. You know, it's been disturbed, but I don't know what this was for, if it was just to come down here to the creek, because there's nothing down low on the other side. So again, I'm not really sure why the guy built this road down here. A little bit of water running down there. I imagine last week it was flowing pretty good. You, you can see how the high water mark there, it was probably a pretty good flow through here. Though so at least I got to see some water down here. But anyway, yeah, it's getting late. I've got maybe 20, 30 minutes to get out of here before sundown. Maybe when I get down there and can hear that waterfall, I'll see if there's a way I can get down that way. Yeah, this is the really brushy down tree part of the trail here. In fact, you got to drop down off of the trail here because there's a, a fallen tree. I think this was here last spring. And this is the area I hear the waterfall, the sound of the creek gets a lot louder right down here, but maybe I'll go down at least to that fallen tree there and just see what's beyond there. It looks like it gets a lot steeper, so I'll take a quick look. Yeah, I don't think I'm going down any farther. It gets steeper and brushier the farther down you go. There's probably a pretty good drop just right along there. 
deep canyon you can see this big tree just disappears down in that hole there <laughs> so there's a pretty good drop even if you can get through this brush it just drops straight down i think i'm going to call it quits here so the trail is back up there on top of that uh, down tree there so i got to work my way back up this is steep enough right here maybe i'll have to come up again there's a couple of little game trails that drop down this way maybe that's a better way to come down so maybe i'll check those out on the way out that might be the way to do it is start out lower down here and side hill across so yeah anyway i think i've got to try to get back up to the trail and then there's a bunch more down trees to get through and then you got to hike down the road get back to the bike and get out of here i've got about uh, 20 minutes till sundown and they want you out of here by sunset and you can see how the wind's picking up too the closer you get to the main canyon the wind picks up i don't like to be up here when it's that windy it's not bad right now but it's supposed to get windy the later it goes tonight so time to get out of here i think yeah anyway hope you enjoyed that look at the old path here i don't know what this was called what it was built for but uh, yeah it's it's kind of a neat neat little trail gets you down here but anyway hope you enjoyed that and as always thanks for watching